forced entry. Fucking 1970s roughy flick. About this poor fuck who comes back from the fucking Vietnam War. Horrible PTSD. Um, slightest things trigger him. And then he starts stalking women that come to his gas station. He just he plays it off as a friendly clerk. Once they pay, he takes their credit card information and then goes hunting them down later. Gotta say, it's pretty fucking smart of him. Um, but yeah, this movie is fucking brutal. The way it's shot and everything, it's, uh, it definitely adds some realism to it. Um, the way he just watches people... And then a certain action that they do triggers all these fucking flashbacks to the war and everything. And then just watching him stalking his victim, finding the perfect way into their apartment or their house to fucking kill them and rape them. Rape them, then kill them. Um, the first victim, as he's about to get in, he notices that she's fucking another dude, so he just lets them finish. Then he comes in and gets his. <laughs> um, then the following scene, I believe the second scene is the one with Laura Cannon, and she's a fucking hottie. Um, that scene was fucking brutal. Uh, he's just... Telling her what he's gonna do, and he's like, I'm gonna fuck you in the ass, you're gonna fucking cry for me, and lo and behold, that's what fucking happens. And the sex stuff, it's shot just like a porno. You got your, your close ups of the ball smacking the ass as he's fucking penetrating her. Um, full on blowjobs, cum shots. It's like a psycho thriller mixed with porn. Can't really go wrong. Only thing I wished was there was more blood and guts in it, but you can't have it all. The acting was fucking superb in this. The fucking the script. Granted, there isn't a whole, whole lot of dialogue, but what's said is said with a fucking purpose. You can... F it feels like he means every single line. You can feel the fear and the desperation from his victims. It's just a beautiful fucking film. Uh, I wish I had watched this sooner. Uh, I had heard of it years ago, but was never motivated to hunt it down until I watched the movie Green Hell from a Baroque house. That's uh, a short film that is inspired by Forced Entry. And after watching Forced Entry here, I gotta say Green Hell is a beautiful nod and tribute to this flick. Um, I've already done a review on Green Hell. Go check that out and hit up a Baroque house to get some fucking wicked sleaze as well. Don't be kicking yourself that you missed out on that the way I've been kicking myself over how long it took me to watch Forced Entry. And I say thanks to my homie for hooking me up with this copy, complete with the slip and all the inserts. I've seen used copies of this without the slip or anything selling for astronomical amounts, so if you haven't seen this flick, I wish you luck in getting a copy at a good price. Um, granted, as long as you're not spending triple digits, I'd say the movie is worth whatever price you pay, but keep it under three digits. <laughs> I, fucking forced entry. It's, it's just a fucking punch to the guts and it doesn't let go. Puts your nuts in a vice and just keeps fucking squeezing the whole runtime. Uh, which is around. What the fuck? It's like 88 minutes or some shit. I don't fucking remember. And of course the case doesn't say because that would be convenient. And yeah.
That is my review for forced fucking entry. Definitely, definitely, definitely try to pick up a copy of this. And at the very least, if you just want a little taste of what forced entry has to offer, pick up a copy of Green Hell. You won't be disappointed with either. And with that, I think that's going to fucking end this review. Forced entry. Fucking wicked acting. Powerful fucking acting. Powerful film. It's just fucking brutal rape scenes. Only thing I wanted was a bit more blood and guts, but you can't have it all. This movie still lived up to the roughy reputation that it's had. Thanks for watching, folks. Stay fucking sleazy. Peace.